Hey guys, Anthony here for Rev3 Games at PAX with Maxim, who is the creative director on Splinter Cell Blacklist. Now, you guys released a new trailer today. Uh, you had released the, uh, a trailer of a level that was very action-packed uh, a little while back, and some people were maybe a little worried about how action-packed it was. And now you've gone back and shown the entire level played through again in a very classic, stealthy style. And, and you were telling me that it's, you guys are trying to highlight different play styles in the game. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, of course. I mean, we're, we're on Blacklist, we're, we're really making a game that we're trying that people will be able to play the way they want, right? It's your game, you paid for it, play it the way you want. If you want to be more action, you can. If you want to be more stealth, you can. So basically, the way, the way it works is we've kind of created those three player archetypes, right? One is the ghost player, the guy that doesn't want to kill, wants to never get detected, right? He's the perfectionist, he's taking his time, he's very patient. And then on the other side of that spectrum, there's the, the tank, the action guy that just wants to throw frag grenades, blind fire his way through, you know, all that. And that's I, me. Yeah, I, I, that's what I figured. And I have the, impulse control issues. That's okay, that's okay. You get there. We're making the game for you too. Beautiful. And there's also that, that middle guy, the, 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 what we call the panther guy, which is more like me probably, which is the guy that doesn't want to get detected, but wants a little bit more action. So you want to take guys out. Uh, you can be lethal or not, but what's important is that you never get detected, right? So all the guys, they don't know you're there, and then suddenly everybody's out. Now, depending on the style that I play in, uh, how do, you know, the, you're saying the game is created for anybody who plays in that style. How are you rewarding me for playing in the style that I play in? Well, what we're doing is we're, we have a full economy system in the game, and it's a transversal economy system. So it, whether you're playing single-player co-op or spy versus mercs, you know, the money you make goes back to Sam, and then you can spend it on any of those you know, game modes, you can upgrade the plane, you can upgrade your goggles, you can upgrade Sam's gear, the gadgets, all that. Um, so so what we're doing is we're, we're we're kind of like in the economy system, if you play badly, you're not gonna make, gonna make a lot of money, but if you play really well one play style, then you're gonna be ranking up a lot more money. So if I'm like an, an action, like run in, guns blazing guy, give me an example of what would give me more money. Oh, I mean, the, the, the easy examples are multiple kills with grenades, right? frag grenades, kill, kill three, four guys with one frag grenade, that's pretty good. Um, Obviously, there's a, you know, doing headshots are going to be more rewarding than just shooting people, you know, in the chest or whatever. So it's really, it's really about exploring and, and letting you like be the perfect at, you know, a perfectionist at that type of, of play. So if I go in with the single player in this money and I, and I buy these upgrades, are these kind of, um, are these more visual upgrades or are they actually affecting Sam as a character? Yeah, exactly. We're, we're, we're doing both, right? So every, every suit that we're making has a, has a, a play style in mind if you want. So visually it's going to, you know, you're going to have the, the suit that's a lot more stealth, a lot more sleek, but it's also affecting the gameplay, right? So uh, you're going to be able to, you know, buy boots that don't make any sound when you're running, or if you're, you know, for you, if you're a little bit more action, you might buy, you know, a bulletproof vest or maybe some, some pants that allow you to carry more frag grenades, for example. And then if I wanted to completely forego upgrading Sam in that single player, like you said, I could take all that money and just put it into my multiplayer character, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, the, 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 for us, a big pillar for the game is Sam, right? Sam's an amazing character. We, we, we were really excited about what we're doing with him. So the idea is that we're, 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 regardless of what you play, the money goes back to Sam because Sam's the leader. He's the leader of Fort Echelon now. So he's going to be, you're going to be, you know, after each mission, you're going to come back to your headquarters, headquarters, which is a plane. So you go back to the plane and from there, you know, regardless of where the money came from, you're going to be able to go ahead and spend it either on Sam, on your gadgets, on weapons, all that, or on your uh, adversarial character. Very cool. And are you guys ever going to see some videos soon of that Panther style that you were talking about, that third character? Oh, maybe. Maybe we'll do that. We haven't we haven't uh, talked about it, or, or, or no one has talked to me about it, or maybe I'm not allowed to talk about it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely a good idea. Very cool. So more on Splinter Cell Blacklist as we find out. Probably a Panther video, maybe a Panther. We'll talk later. Uh, and obviously, a lot more here at PAX all weekend long, so be sure you're subscribed here on Rev3 Games and also on Detoid, youtube.com slash Detoid.